Hey everybody, time for another product review because I've gotten asked by literally a dozen people over the last couple of days about this product, uh, which is called Whisper Air Repair from what has generally been a very reputable company called Panasonic. Um, I'll just point out that the acronym is WAR, W-A-R, and so that, this is called the WAR cell sheet, what we're gonna go through right now. And that's basically what it is. It is a giant red flag filled with tiny red flags. Uh, so people are asking, is this a good idea? No. Flat out, you can just you can stop watching now if you're like, okay, great, I don't need to buy this. Um, but I'm going to show you why and how to read through some of this stuff to understand for yourself when you're out there and you're being trying to be sold things. This is what it looks like. It's got some electronics behind this grill. You see a bunch of marketing mumbo jumbo in the first couple pages about how great it's going to make your life and the life of your clients. Key features: it's creating charged particles. First red flag: anything that is a particle generator is a terrible idea in homes. Particles are never good to breathe. There is no such thing as a safe amount of particles. So that's number one, totally don't do that. Number two, it's inhibiting the growth of bacteria, blah, blah, blah. They make the list of all of the scary things that we don't like. Uh, and also at the same time, quietly deodorizing and removing unwanted smells. And that's all very nice. But what we learned, and I'm not a chemistry researcher, but I, I know a lot of them and I have interviewed them in depth over the years. The, chem, the Home Chem Project and the CASA Project, which you're going to see more of in Home Diagnosis Season 3, both taught us that there's two sides of the equation, of any equation, right? And if you are doing those things, that inhibiting growth and killing microbes and then quietly deodorizing and removing things, that's fine. But what's happening on the other side of the equation? What are the side effects of doing those things? Chemistry is the creation of new chemicals that were not there to begin with. This machine that they're trying to sell, the war, is a chemical reactor. And a home is already a chemical reactor. We have cooking, we have cleaning, we have occupying. That's already happening. You open a window, you let a little bit of ozone in. That's a chemical reaction as well. So remember that the air is literally on fire around our faces. And I'm linking a video on screen now. And if, if you're like, wait, what? I don't use... I think you mean metaphorically. No, I do not. I mean, literally, it's on fire. Um, when you are doing those things, and then they also say something like maintenance-free, with no filters to change and no work, you'll never have to worry about anything again. That should be another giant red flag for us, because there is no such thing as getting something for nothing. If you really believe that that's true, you probably are also out there thinking that you can get passive income for just sleeping or walking or working five minutes a day and you can make $1,000 a week. That stuff is so dumb. Like, please, let's not. Silver bullets are uh, proven not to work. It's a fantasy. Uh, another red flag here is that they see it's ideal for commercial spaces like educational facilities, elevators, subway cars, and also ideal for residential settings. Um, those two things are generally not compatible either, because people are acting in their homes very differently than they act at work. They're not taking showers at work. They're not cooking at work, unless it's microwaving their burrito. They're not applying a bunch of uh, personal care products and doing all that kind of stuff that we do at home. It's totally different, commercial spaces and residences. So, um, so anything that says that it does a great job in both, I'm pretty suspicious of. Now down here, it says compliance. It does comply with blah, blah, blah. Honestly, it doesn't matter what they say here because there is no standard in the world that is looking at chemistry of the indoors and trying to monitor that. And part of the reason is because it is infinitely complicated. The chemicals that I am creating today in my chemical reactor are very different than the ones that you are creating because of my face lotion, my toothpaste, my dishwasher detergent, what I made for breakfast yesterday, what my children... Uh, were playing in before they ran through the house. All that stuff is interacting together and making these new chemicals that are impossible to predict because there's just too many variables. And last, I'd just like to point out here that it says that it is a pesticide device. Gross. Um, we actually don't have any pesticides in our home because we built our home airtight and we have filtration and we have, like, if you want to see how the air quality in my home that I built and hi, I'm Corbett, sometimes I'm an idiot. Like, I don't know how to build houses. I built a house that does... It's perfect. It doesn't have any of these problems that they're saying you should be able to get rid of. And it's because we did things the right 
way in the right order and it's not maintenance free i'll tell you that right now but um here you can see that the highly reactive particle that they are creating is called hydroxyl radicals i am linking a video on screen right now that is all about the hydroxyl radical we know this guy this is a bad guy we call this one of the villains of home chem and where ozone is selective it'll only mate with certain uh, chemicals in your home hydroxyl will just mate with anything that it sees. It's a crazy reactive particle. Um, and so it generally disappears super fast. They are embedding it in water droplets in the air, that's those particles, so that they can give it a longer lifespan, up to 10 minutes. That's a, even a worse idea. Now it can definitely get breathed in by your kids because it's gonna be up there, it won't react away with something. It'll travel all the way down to where your little kids' faces are and then get breathed in. And now it's causing chemical reactions inside their bodies. Uh, five to 20 nanometers is a pretty dangerous range. Um, that can go you know, deeply into your respiratory system. So we wanna make sure that that it's, it doesn't happen. 4.8 trillion OH radical per second. I don't even know how to do the math on that, but that sounds like a lot. Uh, so you can see here that they're, they're, what they think is giving two thumbs up to this and showing how crazy the war is that they're about to wage on your chemicals and your microbes or that of your, your clients, which is really, this is about trying to sell the people who are gonna sell to other people. So builders, HVAC professionals is who they're talking to in this sell sheet. And then last um, little benefit they say here is that it moisturizes your skin and hair. I seriously doubt that. Um, it's, it's last in line, so probably it has like a tiny minuscule effect, but it's like silly that they would even put that on there. This is so obviously put together by a marketing company. Um, so just last couple things here, as happy as this actor looks in this picture, that's a stock photo that they got off of the internet, um, this product will not show your customers that they care about their safety. What I am telling your customers on this YouTube channel and on the PBS television series, Home Diagnosis, is that if somebody installs this in a home, they are potentially poisoning that family. So please don't be one of those people that's like caught unawares by that messaging going out there. Any chemist will tell you the same thing. And the chemists are getting sued by these companies so that they can just shut up because we want to sell more of this stuff. Um, so yes, you will watch your bottom line grow because this stuff is easy to sell because people largely are dumb about air chemistry. Um, we're trying to change that. Please share this video. Please make sure that people know what it is that they're buying before they install something that's going to have all these crazy side effects in their home and potentially not even do the thing that it's supposed to do um, in the first place. So please do comment below if you want to get into fights with me, with each other. That's fine. I don't care. Um, I, I will comment as well personally if I have time to and if I feel like it. But uh, do like and subscribe if you did like and, and, and want more of this. Tune in next time.